Have you ever wondered what the EV button in your car does or how it even works? Welcome to the Fred Anderson Toyota YouTube channel. Today we're going to find out that EV button right there, EV. What does that do? Why you have it there and how it can benefit you. Your car, your truck, your SUV. Most vehicles have drive modes that can help you get better acceleration like a sport mode. And then some might give you better gas mileage like an eco mode or econ mode. Or you could do normal driving, you could do trail driving like in this RAV4 hybrid, or you can push EV. The EV button, electric vehicle, just think of it that way. Your car drives with gasoline, and if it's a hybrid, it drives with a combination of gasoline with electric motor power, all electric. So if you push that EV, this is the quirkiest button of all, sort of like the R2-D2 of car buttons. So think about it that way. Very quirky, has its own personality. It can benefit you, so here's what you do low speed at less than 20 or 25 miles an hour, not much accelerating, minimal accelerating, just kind of tooling around a subdivision, maybe a parking lot, and it'll go in all electric mode. Here's what you're gonna wanna do. You're gonna wanna turn on your vehicle. You're going to want to push that EV button but remember, I said it's quirky. So what does that mean? Well, it's got to be charged up enough. And what does that mean? Well, depending on the manufacturer, depending on the vehicle, you have to drive it some. You have to get the energy in your vehicle charged up enough so that it can run in all electric. This one here, most Toyotas are going to be about a half a mile, maybe a mile you could stretch, something like that. It's got to be under 20, 25 miles an hour, somewhere in that range. Probably every manufacturer is going to be that way as well. Here's how we're going to test it out. Right now, you've got lots of indicators here. It's ready to drive, blind spot monitors on. Got to check some seat belts, maybe in the back seat. But what we're going to do is we're going to push this. If it's not charged up enough, it'll go beep beep and say unavailable. So I'm getting ready to push it. I want to show you what it looks like here though. Here we go. Let's push it and push it. Okay, so it's in EV mode. So now that means I can drive in EV mode for just a short, short time. But we're in all electric mode. So that means you'll be getting 99.999. It only reads that high usually on your indicator, but you're getting incredible gas mileage right now because you're not using gasoline. And I'm not going anywhere close to that 20 miles an hour. It's still in electric mode. It'll pop me out when it runs out of energy. So we'll just drive around this parking lot a little bit and see how long we'll stay in EV mode. Now, if you can only use it for half a mile, and if you can only use it for bump, short speeds, low speeds, short distances, well, where would you use it? I'm thinking if you're in a mall parking lot and you're looking for a spot, you're not gonna be going more than 20 miles an hour generally, or if it's Christmas time and there are no spots, you're just looking around and around and around. What are you gonna do? Put it into EV mode. See if you can go with no gasoline. Maybe it'll help your overall fuel economy just a hair, just a tick, but you're doing your part to get better gas mileage. I'm going just under, I'm going like 15. Or what about you're on the highway and traffic is stopped in stop and go traffic? Or maybe you're just on a city street stop and go traffic. What about if there's construction or an accident where cars are going extremely slow on the highway? Put it into EV mode. Just see how long you can do it. See what happens. Hey, look at this. We're still going and going and going. So those would be suggestions for you. I really want it to pop out of gear, although it has not done that yet. That's okay. It'll pop out of gear out of EV mode, I should say. Sounds like gear popping out. Bump. All right, let's stop here. And then should we try? No, I don't want to try going faster because if I go faster, it's just going to say EV mode unavailable, excessive acceleration. If I go over 20 or 25 right in that range, it'll say excessive speed. Beep, beep, that's what it'll do. But I want it to pop out of gear because we've gone too far. We've already gone just about, there it goes. EV mode deactivated, speed range. Oh, dang it. But anyway, that's the point of what you can do with this vehicle. I went all the way from that spot right there around the building, a big giant Fred Anderson Toyota building, and we got it 
all the way around in just electric mode. So that might be something that you wanna try. Give it a try yourself and see how much you can enjoy the EV mode. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, hit the like button. And also if you enjoy our content, then hit subscribe. Join our community where we do how-to videos, comparative videos, walk around videos, show you cool vehicles, all that kind of stuff. We wanna make sure we're your top resource when you're researching Toyotas. Thanks guys so much. See you next time. We hope you enjoy the suggested videos we've got up here. They could help you out. Thanks and happy watching.